Marquez Sangliao. Uh, you can call me Mark for short. And uh, I was born in La Trinidad and Vega. That's where strawberry grows in our place. Uh, Call it Cordillera. Uh, we're in the northern part of the Philippines. Uh, I started martial arts when I'm, in, I'm 15 years old. And, uh, but of course when I'm young, I was uh, inspired by Lucy, Van Damme, and at that time, WWF was a uh, favorite uh, movie that we were watching before. So in our place, we have a wide grass area, so uh, we, we, we are play, uh, we are fun playing at the grass area, so we love traveling there, though we don't know some techniques before that we, but we have our own martial arts before, we call it Inabu, means grappling, we are also Kinodaran, that's uh, kicking each other, but we don't have uh, specific techniques before. Then, uh, I, I fun watching kickboxing before in our place when I'm in, uh, in high school, and uh, that's the time where I'm inspired to uh, want to fight also. So I have to uh, enroll in a gym. My first, uh, my first club, uh, kickboxing club, was Red Lion Kickboxing Club before. And uh, but before that, I was also a, a fan with sports like basketball. But when uh, I saw that. It's not in line with me because of my height, so I shifted to martial arts. Uh, my first fight was after after one year training in kickboxing. I competed uh, and uh, I lost my first two bouts in kickboxing, but that doesn't stop me in uh, training. So I keep on uh, keep on training. My third fight, I won. Then, then streak, winning streak. Uh, after that two loss, I I won a lot of uh, competition until uh, I'm starting fighting in the main event, kickboxing. And in uh, my college times, I I my when I enrolled in college. I joined the uh, Taekwondo varsity training, and uh, I'm enjoying the training until the, I, I was selected as a member of the varsity team, and uh, that's in 1998. So I was a member of the uh, Taekwondo varsity team for two years. Then after that, uh, Ushu came to our place. Ushu came to our place in 1999. So I've been, uh, I'm also like, interested in joining the, the training, so I joined the training for one year, again, 1999, while I'm in uh, the Taekwondo University. In the year 2000, I joined the national competition, and I won the gold medal. I became the champion in the national competition, so I was selected to represent the Philippines in the SEA Games in 2001. And luckily, I got the gold medal in 2001 in uh, Penang, Malaysia, Sea Games, Penang, Malaysia. And uh, after after I got the gold, I decided to continue my studies since I have to stop. I have to stop for two years uh, in preparation of the Sea Games before. So I have, I have to sacrifice my studies before I have to stop for two years. Then, when I got the gold medal, I decided to continue my studies. So after two years, I graduated in 2003. But while I'm studying, I cross trained with judo, judo varsity team in our university, and um, I. In 2002, I also met uh, Rami David. He 
uh, a crazy uh, student before who came from the U.S. and I could cross train with him. And I was fun also watching UFC at that time. Then in 2003 when I graduated, I really, I really, my body wants to compete again. So I, I told to the uh, national coach that I want to come back and uh, compete in Wushu again, representing the Philippines. But um, but the uh, decline since uh, yeah, I did decline since uh, in 2000 when I. I when I, I decided to go back to school, uh, I'm also teaching in uh, I'm also teaching in the university. I teach uh, Wushu Sanju and um, uh, yeah, that while studying, I also teach Sanju. I, my first students before was Mark Iliva, the one who was fighting in the UFC. Uh, we have Benji Rivera, the world champions. Those are my first students before. So going back when 2003 when I graduated and uh, decided to join again the national team in line because maybe they saw that uh, I am in coaching Bushu. So, uh, my body still, still wants to fight. My body and my mind wants to compete again in my life. So, uh, at that time, I, still, uh, I saw, I saw the uh, URCC, one of the uh, MMA promotion in our, in our place. So, I decided to turn pro and compete in MMA. 2003, I started to compete in uh, URCC, and in 2004, I got the, the uh, URCC Mantam with Bell. And uh, during that time, uh, still we were training, uh, teaching in school, and uh, teaching uh, students, the varsity team in our, in our university. In, uh, after the SEA Games in 2001, after uh, I got gold medal with my teammate Jerome Talida, who got gold medalist at that time, that's the time where uh, a lot of martial artists were inspired to train also with Wushu in our place. Though Wushu started earlier, but uh, I think we're the one who made it out or came to the interest of media. So that was the time that Wushu uh, uh, is a uh, lot of Wushu practitioners were inspired to play. We, uh, I think the, the lessons or the fundamentals that I've learned in Wushu is uh, mental toughness, you know, train hard and follow, follow rules. Of course, uh, you need also discipline, uh, discipline, extreme discipline to become a good athlete.